Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we're gonna create this type of the panels. This type of panels it's not totally hard but maybe you're interesting how you can create it. I will show you the one of the best way how you can create this type of the panels. Uh, again this is my opinion. Uh, I think this is the best way how to create it. And in this tutorial I will show you how you can create it which is type of the family you should use and which is type of the parameter we will create for this panel. If you are ready for this tutorial, let's get start. First of all, as always, I will create my scene where we will be work. So for create it, go to the file. Doesn't matter which type of the Revit you are using, 2019, 2022, doesn't matter. Uh, go to the new and we will use the conceptual mess. I highly recommend use the conceptual mess always when you want to create some conceptual uh, facade. So this one facade, this is right now it's conceptual type. So I will create the new model. And here, as you can see, this is my uh, mess model. And after that, we need the shape of the our future model. Let me will create wall. Let's say it will be 15 meter. But before I will do that, unsnap 3D snapping. Because I want to place it exactly on this work plane. And it will be 50 meter. It's quite enough to our testing, to the, our experiment. And let's extrude it. Uh, I will extrude by 150 uh, meters. It will be much than enough. Like that. And we get something like a wall. And after that, before we will continue work uh, with the, our panel, we should divide this by surface. Just select your surface. After that, go to the divide surface. You are, can see already it's divided. And now let's select our pattern and we will change our pattern to the rhomboid, it's here. Let's change it, and as you can see, it's already totally changed. Uh, right now, we not will change any settings, which is like how many we have to pattern, for how many the panels we have by U grids and V grids. We will do it later on. Right now, we need just a pattern, that's it. So, uh, now it's finally, we already finished work with the our preparation now we will be work with the panel now we should go to the uh, file and create the new pattern so let's go to the file after that we will do the new family again and now we should uh, choose our template let i will use the english one template and let's see what the template we have and this one mm, metric curtain panel based Let's use it. And right now we get our panel, but uh, don't be be careful because as you can see, it's the square, it's not a rhomboid. How I know that? If you will select this network, you will see on the left on the screen, this is rectangular. So it's not the type of the pattern which is we want to use because as I said, we will use the rhomboid one. Where is that? And it's here. As you can see, it's totally looks same, but our uh, base pattern just rotated on the 45 degree. Uh, be careful with that. Okay, so now we should create our, um, actually our, um, the panel. Uh, before we will do that, we should uh, understand how we will do that. Uh, the first of all, um, I want to make it like in this picture. As you can see, this point, it's a bit offset by uh, grid y it's a bit offset here and as you can see it's have the some height between uh, between the start point and end point so the our end start point is here it will be flat it will be laying on the zero this point it will be changed it will be on the sum of the height so before we will uh, work with this panel uh, let's go to the reference let's use the point and after that set set work plane select this work plane which is horizontal one and place the point like this after that escape and select this point and now go to the offset and change it for example to the 500 500 millimeters and as you can see changing the position to the uh, negative direction but we can say minus 500 millimeter it's okay for us we understand if minus 100 it will be a bit offset uh, so okay we have the point and as you can see we get offset point and after that as i said this is zero point height and this one point it's a bit different one so for example let's say it will be 
1500 millimeter. So let's select this point. Let's go to the show reference never and we will change to always and we will be see always the working plane. And again the same thing. Reference, points and set. And now we will change our work plane to the uh, flat one. Let's select it and let's place our point here. We get some uh, warning message. It's okay, just leave it, say okay, escape and select now new point. It will be uh, right here. Now change the position of this point, as I said, 1500 millimeter. And as you can see, now it's on the top side. So the two main points will be this one and three of these. As you can see, it will be connecting. Actually, I'm lying because these two points also we not will use. You will see why. Okay, so now we have this point and we should now work with these two points. Let's do the same thing. Let's go to the reference, point and set. And let's set this work plane and place the point. Now escape and do the same thing. Reference, point and set. Set this work plane and place the point. Now let's select this first point. We will change the position to the 500 millimeter. As you can see, it changed. And now let's select this point and let's change to the 500 millimeter and let's enter. As you can see, it's also changed. Now, as you can see, we changing the parameters manually. This is not so useful when we will have our point. Uh, I mean, when we will have the our panel. So we should create the parameters. This offset, let's change it and let's leave the same name. We will say this is uh, last point, last point, and it's calling the type of the parameter offset. And let's leave it this uh, type of the parameter as a type. Let's say OK. So now we can manipulate with the uh, offset of this point. Now let's select this point, uh, which is will be okay, again the new parameter. And as a, again, last last point and it will be height. Okay, nice, uh, also will be type parameter. Let's say okay, let's say okay. And now we need one more parameter. Let's select this point and this point will be have the uh, middle points height. Let's say okay, done. Now we just will select this point. No, we not to create any parameter. We'll just choose the same parameter as we have here, middle point, done. So, now to uh, show uh, to show you better how it's working, let me I will go to the reference, the line, and now we no need the set. We now need the 3D snapping. Be careful. Let's choose the 3D snapping, and let's connect. We will connect our points from the four till here, till here, this one and this one. And now, as you can see, we get something another thing. I mean the another type of the rhomboid. Let's select all this, all these lines. And now let's create the form. I will create the form. I will do it not flat one, as you can see. You can make not flat if you will select all like, these panels again and you will click on the create the form. Uh, on the left here, the side, Revit will ask you the you want a flat or you want to have the sum thickness. Let's, let's do the sum thickness. It's okay for us. We will do like some something like that. We did it, and what we have now is the parameters. Let's let's see how it's working. For example, our height is here the one thousand five hundred millimeters. Awesome, and our uh, middle point, our middle point, it will be half of our uh, last point, just like that. And let I will lock this parameter. So, as you can see, now I think it changed. Why? Because if I will change, for example, to the 3500 millimeter, it automat it's automatically changing. Let's apply it. And as you can see, it's leaving the, the same direction. Here, the same thing. I can say it will be my minus 1500 millimeter. And as you can see, panel, it's changing. Yeah, now, now we have something like a uh, arc because uh, you should 
create one more parameter distance between this point and this point and dividing but we not will be talk about it today uh, if you want to do that do it uh, it's already uh, i think geometry everyone know geometry and not will spend time for that so what we're gonna do next next we should load inside to the our uh, mess model and see how it's working so let's just load to the project uh, i think it's family 4 let's try it Let's load it inside to the family form. And yes, I am right. Let's uh, select this pattern, which is we created uh, like a couple minutes ago. And now let's change our rhomboid pattern to the family five. Let's select it. As you can see, we already get our pattern. Uh, how it's work actually. If I will select, for example, all the patterns, I can uh, directly go to the edit type and first let me i will change the name of this type uh, let's say it, this will be 200 500 uh, 2500 millimeter by uh, 1500 millimeter and by this way we will be directly understand the type of this panel let's say okay nothing changed because i just changed the type of the my family and now let's duplicate this panel and let's say this is will be uh, i don't know 2500 millimeter by 5000 millimeter and without any double. Let's say, okay, 2500 as I said, and minus 5000 5, millimeter. He had a minus, it's just small, terrible things because he had a 5500, sorry. 5500 millimeter, let's say, okay. And now it changed, as you can see, now it's changed. Uh, it looks like that. Maybe we can create one more type. Let me create one more type. And this will be 5,500 millimeter here. And here will be 2,500 only. Uh, we just will sweep it. So just swap it. Uh, 500, 5,500 and 2,000 minus 2,500 minus minus 2,500. Let's say OK. And we get like that. So what we can do else? Okay, we can change the direction of that. Perfect. But what we can do else? Let, let me we'll change the graphic uh, because it's, sometimes it's not understandable. We need the shadow. Much better. And as you can see, these last uh, four panels and this is going inside to the ground. What we can do? Select by tab key these panels. Tab key, hold the control key and select it. And again, and again. And we can change only for these panels, not all the patterns. We can change only for these panels. As you can see, it's able to change to the type. Let's select it and let's select this one. And as you can see, we get another type, maybe better this one type. Yeah. And now it's not going, actually it's going to ground. Better to create another type. Let me duplicate it and I will say it will be 3000, but offset will be zero. And by this way, we will be understand this is for the ground. Here is the offset. Let's say zero. Let's apply it. And as you can see, yes, this is a zero. Better if we will change also these two panels on the corner. And as you can see, we get really nice pattern, which is we can manipulate uh, with different parameters. For example, we can change uh, only some patterns, for example, this one, panels on the patterns, I'm sorry. Let's select this one, and we can say these patterns will be like that. And as you can see, now we can manipulate with these patterns. We can just play around it. For example, these patterns will be like that. You can now even use the Dynamo uh, to make some random type of the panels. But today it's not about the Dynamo, if you want to know how to do that, uh, watch my previous tutorials. I have a lot of the tutorials how to use the panels. I mean, the adaptive panels with the Dynamo. Uh, the logic is the same. So as you can see, we did it. What we can do else? Else we can go back to the, our 3D. We can select our uh, flat, flat one uh, pattern, as you can see, this one. And we can create the, another form like that. Select. Let's select this form, right click. Oh, no, not right click material. Let's go inside to the material. Here is the glass and I will say, okay, if this glass, let me will do the some color of this glass. Let's say it will be like that. It's not, will be transparency. 
I don't remember 100% or let me I will let me do like this and let's say OK and as you can see now it has some color let's load it inside to the our family and let's override it all right and as you can see we get our panels not everywhere but somewhere not actually everywhere we get our panels yeah it's here let me check one more time shaded one yeah it's everywhere and now we get our panels as you can see but the colors is different because why because actually the mm, material manage material here another type of the material here is the glass another one we will change it here too it's okay it's just few seconds let me change it let's say okay and as you can see now we can see our glass let me change to the this one type and like this you can uh, more com complicate our panel you can create the corners you can create the some connections uh, whatever you want so and also all these things can be be variable like if you will select your panel you can for example if you change some type you, you its type can be switching off something you can do that but the main idea we saved main idea for example if i will say here will be 20 20 panels and if we will look on the this picture you can see the panel it's totally same yeah here is the same detail but the panel it's totally same so i hope this tutorial really help you to create kind of the facade work with the facade play around that because if your facade in your building it's the face of your building thank you guys for watching see you next time